Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'll take a look at Multipass, a product by Kilohertz that is essentially a multiband processing plugin where you can put all sorts of effects into different parts of your sound, uh, different frequencies of your sound, and that opens up a spectrum of possibilities you can do with any sound, um, creating all sorts of sound that is uh, really not possible with conventional plugins. Alright, so let's get straight into it. And basically here, I have a two simple tracks here. One here, the one in green, and the one in blue. All right? They are very simple, simply arranged just to show you the power of multipass and um, what it can do. Okay, so in the first track here, I have a piano track. And I'm just going to play this, the track without the effect. All right? And here is how it sounds. Alright, and it loops over and over again, and basically it's just a loop, a simple piano loop. So now I'm going to bring up multipass and turn it on, and basically uh, we're going to show you how it sounds with this effect on. And I'm going to explain a little bit about you know, how it works and what you can do with it. So now. So with multipass, uh, our piano turned into you know, uh, something like that. Which gives it, gives it more interest you know, in, 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 in terms of sound. And basically what happens here is that we can see, just gonna quickly explain what happens, what's going on here, right? So basically, um, you have all your LFOs and envelopes to really patch things around and to you know, tweak a lot of sounds, but basically the bulk of the sound itself and the concept of the plugin itself comes from the middle uh, lanes. We call these lanes, right? These are called lanes. And basically, you can open up different lanes, uh, different EQ lanes. So basically, these are the lows, uh, of your sound, the mids of your sound, and the trebles of your sound. So you can see right now, I have a transgate effect on the mids, um, a delay effect, and stack on with a reverb effect on the treble parts here. And basically what you can do is you can basically change things around. You can even you know, put the transgate effect on the bass portion, or turn it up into the treble portion only. It's up to you really. And you can copy effects and you know play around with that. So one of the things you can do with this is you can also solo the different tracks. So you can also solo like, you know, like, only this we can see right here. So let's say I want to solo only my bass portion and see how it sounds. Look this so we don't get trapped. Alright. So this is only this portion here. Of course, you can also change the frequency to go down lower, depending on how you want to. And let's say let's add on a distortion into this frequency part here. Only for the bass part, alright? So let's go for a distortion effect. Let's say we want a overdrive effect. Dropping it out a little bit, giving some volume. All right, and let's say let's look at our treble right now. So that's how it sounds this part, and I want to extend it down a little here and a bit there, All right? And I want to increase the reverb itself, the size and also the mix. So really up to you, All right? And soloing the mids. So we have a nice transcript going there to give us that kind of uh, rhythmic sense right there. And I can turn this off if you want to. That's how it sounds. So let's say I want to put a reverb as well. I'm going to copy my reverb here. Alright. Mix less of it. So you get the idea of what you can do, right? So I'm gonna unsolo all the links. Uh, of course, you can play and go crazy with it. You know, use crazy LFOs with it. For example, uh, you're gonna put an LFO uh, into the reverb mix here. Let's say you do something crazy like that. You can actually do so by clicking link here, and I'm gonna link the mix to my LFO here. So the reverb goes up and down in the mix. And all right, anyway, this is an example. Okay. You can go crazy if you want to, but it's again up to you. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my arrangement here and show you how it sounds like in the whole arrangement here, okay? And let's go. Okay, so this was, this was one example. Let's go into the second example where I'm just going to you know, put in a multi-pass plugin and show what's possible with it. Again, what we're doing here is just very, it's just the tip of the iceberg. It's very simple. Uh, if you want to dig in further into it, I'm sure you can do much, much better than what I'm trying to do here. 
Okay, so this is how it sounds like. Simple sounding house loop. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a multi-pass multi -pass plug in into this house loop here. Again, uh, remember that you know multi-pass only works on stereo tracks and not on mono tracks. So if you're using any DAW, whether it's Logic, Ableton, or Cubase, and if you do not see multi-pass in your plugin list, it's because the track is not in stereo. So in this case, my track is in stereo, and I can use the multi-pass which is here. And also, you know, other than that, basically the, the other components, the other effect components can be used as a single component. For example, let's say I want to use a delay effect. I can actually use the delay effect just like this, all right? But in this example, I'm just going to use the multi-pass plugin to show you the power of it, okay? All right, so here we go. And basically, this is a blank slate. And again, there's a lot of different plugins, I mean, different uh, presets you can choose. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the beginning of the song and play with some, you know, effects. So let's go. Let's try the beat dislocations one. Now what's interesting is that, you know, everything here can be mapped out as an automation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try attempting now is to actually map out the pre-effects as an automation to the track here. Alright, so I'm just going to go to my track here and open up the automation. Change this to touch basically and go back to the beginning. Of course you want this to be a little bit softer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this and I'm going to tweak the mix a little bit here. Okay, so what it's going to do. That's enough. So basically what I'm going to do here and what I'm essentially doing here is that I'm introducing the mix um, slowly as the track progresses into the mix. I'm going to delete all this off. So basically the track starts from nothing and it progresses into uh, the effects. The effect comes in slowly. Okay, I'm going to close back this and let's open up multi-pass just to show you what happens when it goes up here. Alright, before we end this video. Anyway, this is a very simple example of how it sounds. Um, again, you can do so much with this plugin. Um, and yeah, the plugin is only selling for about, I think, $99, if I'm not mistaken. I've placed links down to the plugins in the description below. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comment section below, and I'll be back to answer you. I think, personally, I think this plugin is a great plugin for you if you're doing a lot of electronic music. And I think this is such an amazing plugin. You know, besides all the conventional type of plugins that are out there, this changes the possibilities of making sounds and different types of sounds with, you know, using basic sounds and basic loops that you have on your DW. So good luck, have fun playing with it, and see you. Thanks.